and welcome to High Street Chapel. Today we will begin the season of Advent. This is a time of preparing our hearts, minds and spirits for the coming of Christmas. We start to think about what the Bible says about Christmas and what it means to us. To help us to do this we have the Advent wreath. The Advent wreath helps us to pause for a moment and remember why Jesus came. It is full of beautiful symbolism or it will be when my mum has finished it. The wreath is a circle with no beginning and no end and represents God. God has no beginning and no end and he offers us the gift of eternal life and never ending love. It will be done, um, mum promises, when um, this video comes out. It should be over there. See it over there? There are four candles on the wreath and they represent hope, Love, joy and peace. The one in the centre is for Jesus, the light of the world. Today we are lighting the first candle. It is often called the prophecy candle and its message about hope. What is the prophecy candle? A prophet is someone who has been given a message from God and often tells us about the future. Throughout history, prophets have spoken about the coming of the Messiah. This was the chosen one who was anointed by God and sent to save us from our sins. Sins are the things we have done wrong. The prophet spoke about the arrival of the Messiah who would free us from the things we have done wrong and give us a friendship with God. The Bible gives us messages of hope about the Messiah. The prophet Isaiah said, The Lord himself will give you a son. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Later, Isaiah had another message from God about the Messiah. But he took our suffering on him and felt our pain for us. We saw his suffering and thought God was punishing him. But he was wounded for the wrong we did. He was crushed for the evil we did. The punishment that made us well was given to him and we are healed because of his wounds. We all have wandered away like sheep. Each of us have gone his own way. But the Lord has put on him the punishment of all the evil we have done. Long ago, God gave this message to people so that they could have hope. Hope for now and hope for the future. A message of hope forevermore. Our hope comes from Jesus. He is God's chosen one, our Messiah. We celebrate God's gift of Jesus at Christmas. Let us all remember what this gift really means. It's not just a story about a cute baby in a manger, but a story about God giving us his gift of life and hope. What then can I hope for, Lord? I'll put my hope in you. Let us light the candle of hope. <sighs> Dear Lord God, thank you for the gift of hope that we have in Jesus. Thank you that, that when we trust in you, we are given the hope of new life and freedom from our sins. Help us to remember this when we celebrate this Christmas. Amen. Amen.